about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we Long Beach. I just finished picking up a lot, a lot of trash on the beach. We gotta keep our ocean clean so no more sea turtles die. Let's go check out the party. Pick up trash and don't litter. A few weeks ago, I watched them rededicate the Pride Life Tower after someone, an arsonist, lit it on fire and it disappeared. So I'm here celebrating, which is rededicated. And now I'm here at the Big Gay Beach Party for Pride, celebrating Pride with all my fellow queers. I run a nonprofit. I'm an executive director for California Families in Focus. So we're community partners, and so they invited us. We are LBGTQ plus friendly, and I'm here to support my community as well. Oh, that's awesome. So what does pride mean to you? I think pride to me means at the end of the day just being true to your true self. I came out for the Unity Rally. Um, our founder of our nonprofit was one of the guest speakers for the Unity Rally, and then I was also here for the unveiling. It's so important that we continue to honor all the diversity that the city of Long Beach actually has here, whether you're LBGTQ plus or you know from a different race or a disability. I think it's very important that we show our children from a very very young age to be accepting of other people at all times. I think that our community here in Long Beach is so unique and diverse in that, in that manner. And just having the rainbow tower here is another honor that we have here in Long Beach because we are seen, we are heard, and it just shows who our allies truly are. And it's such a beautiful thing. And the LBGTQ plus community and the allies all together and just show that even if people do try to bring us down, we still come together no matter what. And that's the important part. There's always going to be that struggle while you're making a change. 
but the reality is that it's already been changing for so long and that's why we are so visible now. And I love the fact that we have this tower and the most important part about it is the tower wasn't created here because the mayor, you know, people get confused about that. This was brought on by the actual lifeguards because they have the LBGTQ plus community within their, their um, organization. So they created the lifeguard tower to honor their fellow uh, employees and their fellow co-workers. And so it's very, I, I think it's beautiful that uh, the city of Long Beach has different areas that support their community and allows it to be seen. And the fact that now, because of the you know, terror act that happened on March 23rd, um, now this new rainbow tower is now going to be the mecca of the queer community, the trans community, the bisexual community, the pan community, whatever you decide your label ally, whatever it might be, this is now going to be the new mecca and we are just so excited to see what else we're going to be able to do here at, at the rainbow tower and just, you know, just give, share the love and at the end of the day, love is love. And as Thompson. Paul Thompson here. And what does pride mean to you? First off, I'm super old. Okay, so pride for me, let's go back to 1978. I was 1978? 18 years old. Oh, wow. Um, I took the bus with my best gay friend from high school. We went to San Francisco and we wore down jackets and overalls and ski caps and sunglasses because we were terrified that we'd be on the news. There were all these beautiful people on floats. You know, it was about finding my community. So Pride for me is about community and finding it and seeing who your chosen family are, okay? So I'm so grateful for my LGBTQ family because, uh, you know, you've got to find your family to find your life. Love so, that. How do you feel about the, the Rainbow Lifeguard Tower being that. I say where are the hot lifeguards, okay? <laughs> What's the lifeguard tower without hot lifeguards, okay? They're out here. Yeah, they're out, they're here. out here. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So, happy Pride, everyone. What is the symbol on your hat? Human Rights Campaign. It's a fabulous organization throughout the country. Um, offers you the opportunity to get involved and make a difference in at work, at school, in your communities, politically. Um, so HRC was my family, my chosen family. I came to HRC as a volunteer a long, long time ago. Uh, my roommate told me they'd be cute guys with jobs, so I thought that was a good place to go. And instead I found my soul, my purpose, and uh, my passion for social justice. So I'm grateful um, to HRC for all the millions of volunteers and supporters that have made LGBTQ equality happen in this country. Get involved at hrc.org. For you or for somebody else? Uh -huh. nice. Her parents came here from Iowa. Oh, wow. And that's when Long Beach was called Little Iowa by the Sea. So we're like from here. Oh, wow. Yeah. I really enjoyed this event. It's been nice to have something to get outside and play music. It's the right kind of thing for our city. I love it. I just moved here from Hollywood. Is this an event that happens every year? This event um, was started over COVID, um, excuse me, just after COVID, after COVID, and they are by Long Beach Home and Living. Um, I was just talking to the event organizer and he was saying, you know, nobody was doing anything like this, and we just thought, why not? Let's just jump in and do it. And I think it's wonderful. I love it. Yeah, they're going to do one every month for the rest until, until the fall. I love the diversity here. Long Beach in my lifetime has been voted really like one of the top 10 U.S. cities to live like several times over. Um, based off of the diversity and also like the LBGTQ inclusive trans uh, community. So 
it's a great place to live. I love it. You know, I like the LGBTQ people are welcome. Uh, Latin people, yeah. black people, Native large, American, everybody. We have you know? the largest um, population of Cambodian people outside of Cambodia in Long Beach. That's so random. I know. I, I never realized that. Yeah, it's, it's like a, one, another cool thing about our city. I love that. It's a great, it's a great city. I'm so glad that you're having a good experience in my hometown. That's good. Thank you for talking to us. Absolutely. And, and letting us enjoy your art. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Nice meeting you. I had an amazing day. I met some awesome people and I really enjoyed this big gay beach party. I hope you enjoyed it too. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment what you'd like to see me do next time and have an amazing, fabulous gay day.